written Santa's Jet and Christmas Dream a long time ago and people liked it, but they said, why did Santa have to use a jet? And so I thought, well, I need to explain that, and what better way to explain it than to write a story about it. So I partnered with my wife and we came up with a, quite a good story. start out with, to get people in the mood, we play my copy or my rendition of Jingle Bells, and in, throughout Jingle Bells there are other Christmas songs, so that helps. It's, it's basically written for children, you know, 7 to 12 years old. I wrote Santa's Jet back in 1989, and I wrote it, back then there were cassettes were popular. I wrote Santa's Jet and Christmas Dream on what was called Cassette Single. I sold 5,000 copies of that. Um, part of it was I wrote it for my daughters. Christmas Dream applies to or can be tied to a lot of different things. It, it talks about being together even if it's only in the heart and I think a lot of people can relate to that. Uh, I didn't have my daughters with me all the time so uh, I wrote the song for them and let them know that they were always in my heart. This is my Christmas dream, Christmas dream. To me it was really difficult because I hadn't done it since 1989. I'd been performing in bands, but hadn't really written my own things. And then to also write a book and tie it all together, to me it was, it was a lot of work. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, it was a life's goal, and I was able to do it with the help of my wife and my son and my daughters. They all play a role in it, and you know, I even use my children's name in the book, names in the book. And it's also just to leave a legacy, and it's also for family entertainment, which, you know, sometimes I think there's not enough family entertainment, so hopefully everybody likes it. Everybody. We're going to go up on the house now. Well, I think Christmas is more for kids anyway, um, and every adult has a kid within him, so... It works out you know, for adults and children. As you know, children develop vocabulary by reading. Uh, sometimes they can't find somebody to read or they just want to hear the story. You put in the CD and they can follow along in the book, word for word, and it builds their comprehension skills and it builds their reading skills. So I kind of want to do that. I graduated as a teacher and that's still within me. I'd love to see it made into a movie or a TV show or a holiday special or something like that. Uh, I don't have that ability to do that, but uh, to me, I'd sure love to see somebody do that. We also write, wrote a, uh, a play that can be performed in elementary schools that's available as well. Uh, please just email me at santasjet at gmail.com. Again, that's santasjet at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to email you the script. Uh, the script is just a little different from the actual story because you have to have props and play and some things change to make it more user-friendly for elementary school students uh, to perform. But I do have a copy of that and I'm happy to email it to the teacher. They can get the actual CD, analog CD, upside down. <laughs> Uh, only from CD Baby right now, um, and then other affiliates of CD Baby that carry the actual physical CD that has the book. Uh, I've also made the ebook, and that's available on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, um, any of the major retailers um, have picked up the story, and again, that's ebook, and that's for a Kindle or an iPad. Um, so, and it's mostly, you know, if you want the audiobook, you can get it on iTunes. You can also get it, there's iBook. Uh, so it's pretty much all over as far as electronically, but as far as a physical copy, um, probably CD Baby is the best place to get that.